snapped and said one thing about North Korea that has Trump cheering like crazy. Former Secretary of State to George W. Bush, Condoleezza Rice, just gave huge words of support for Trump's stance against North Korea. Speaking at the Library of Congress Book Festival on Saturday, she said, What the administration is trying to do, and I support what they're trying to do, is they're painting a very bleak picture for the Chinese, she continued. That's the only country with any real leverage on the North Koreans. She explained that China is concerned that, should the North Korean regime fall, there will be a refugee crisis in their country. She went on to say, I think at some point the American president, and I'm not inside so don't know what he's being told about how long he has, but at some point if you're threatening Guam and already firing missiles over Japan, we're getting pretty close to a denouement, we're getting pretty close to a president having to make a decision. Watch how our military is preparing. Courtesy of RightWing via YouTube.com she also remarked about how Kim Jong-un backed down from his threats against the U.S., after Trump said that he would respond with fire and fury. She said she believes that someone in China must have talked sense into Kim Jong-un after that. Trump has been trying to get China to do the right thing for some time. If you agree that Trump knows how to handle this reckless bully, please share everywhere and comment I trust Trump. H. T. The Hill Watch now. More. Related. Breaking News 24. What this Houston pastor admitted about Trump is shocking Americans like an adrenaline shot. We all know that Trump is a very compassionate guy. He works his butt off to make this country great again. The pastor absolutely loved Trump, according to Fox News. Everything in Houston has been just very dramatic, a lot of emotional struggles. The pastor Ken Gurley of Houston's First Church of Perlin told Fox and Friends on Sunday. To have the president, first lady, and others come, it was just a joy and it was like a shot of adrenaline. Here is the amazing video below. The first couple of victims helped serve a meal at the storm shelter on Saturday during their visit to Houston and got to take pictures with people there. People loved him. That's because he's a great president. To have the president, first lady, and others come, it was just a joy and it was like a shot of adrenaline, said the pastor. The couple met with their victims and helped serve a meal at a storm shelter on Saturday on their second visit to the storm-torn Houston. Gurley said that the president was very engaged and very compassionate. He acted like an old pro at it when helping deliver goods. The media won't show this. Share this everywhere and be proud that we have such a blessed president. Watch now. More. Related. Breaking News 24. John McCain just flew to Europe to stab Trump in the back. Look what he did. John McCain took time off from his cancer treatments this week to fly out to Italy to trash President Trump. This is disgusting behavior. Especially after Trump wished him well in his recovery. Hard as people might try, there's no reason to keep trashing Republicans. Ben Sass, Jeff Flake, and Lindsey Graham are working hard to change just that. According to the Washington Examiner, Senator John McCain, R. Oz, said that America is very committed to traditional alliances and values. He then said despite the doubts about the United States because of the actions and statements of our president. McCain said in remarks Saturday at the Ambrosetti Forum. He said that he came to Italy at a time when many are questioning whether America is still committed to remaining engaged in the world, to upholding our traditional alliances and standing up for the values we share. It is true that there is a real debate underway now in my country about what kind of role America should play in the world, McCain said. And frankly, I do not know how this debate will play out. This guy is undergoing cancer and has the time to say the dirtiest thing about our president. Remember the awful moment that McCain joined the Democratic Party? Here's the video below. Our legislature is not Republican or Democrat. It is a UNI party body. John McCain showed that. They aren't on the side of the American people. Share this if you are tired of John McCain.
This guy is making it his mission to hurt Trump. It's very sad. Americans need to see the nasty thing that these politicians are saying about our president. Watch now. More. Related. Breaking News 24. Midday Massacre Trump just made massive threat to anyone who helps North Korea. So by now most of you all have probably heard that last night North Korea detonated their new hydrogen bomb. This nasty new weapon is 10x more powerful than their old one and is clearly a threat. Well, unlike Obama, Trump takes threats very seriously. The second he saw what was going on, he made a huge action that Kim Jong-un is sure to feel. Trump threatened to stop all trade with any country who trades with North Korea. The president shot out a pair of tweets this morning that were very clearly directed at Kim and his regime. I will be meeting General Kelly, General Mattis and other military leaders at the White House to discuss North Korea. Thank you. The United States is considering, in addition to other options, stopping all trade with any country doing business with North Korea. Now it's very important to note that this is also a very direct threat to China, who accounts for 85% of North Korea's trade. While Trump's detractors are claiming we need China, who accounted for $600 billion last year, the threat is actually a brilliant strategy. His attacks against the rogue state did not stop there, however. His tweets also called out South Korea for appeasement of the North and China for embarrassing themselves by association. Some people may be upset over Trump's tough talk on North Korea and their allies. Well, I tell them too bad. Our old attempts clearly failed or else they wouldn't have nukes. Share this out if you think Trump's trade threat is smart and Congress should fall in line. Watch now. More. Related. Breaking News 24 What Trump did this Sunday for Harvey victims will make journalists freak out. Donald Trump never stops moving. His stamina is utterly amazing, for a man of his maturity. This morning, he and Melania Aroz, went to church, and prayed for all the people who have been so deeply affected by Hurricane Harvey. Friday, Trump had declared this to be a national day of prayer for the victims of Hurricane Harvey. Can you imagine what all that prayer is going to do? If we all lift every victim of the natural tragedy up in prayer, amazing things will happen. Watch as Trump sits among religious leaders, along with Mike Pence announcing this miracle bringing National Day of Prayer. Courtesy of PBS NewsHour via YouTube.com Trump said We invite all Americans to join us as we continue to pray for those who have lost family members or friends, and for those who are suffering in this time of crisis. Most recently, the number who died related to Hurricane Harvey has climbed to 50. Please pray for their families and friends. On Saturday, when he and Melania were back in Texas, he encouraged everyone by saying, Tomorrow's a very big day, so go to your church and pray and enjoy the day. The weather has cleared up there and he just wanted them to feel encouraged and able to enjoy being alive, even amid the devastation. I hope you will join in this day of prayer, and lift your fellow Americans who have been so terribly affected, up. Let's bring some miracles. H. T. The Hill Watch now. More. Related. Breaking News 24. Right as Trump left Texas, he looked into the camera and put the media on slow burn. The media has been hammering the president throughout the Hurricane Harvey disaster. Why? It is hard to say. By all accounts, the government has been working very well at all levels to respond to this devastating storm. President Trump has been keeping a close eye on the relief efforts, making sure everything is running smoothly and even visiting the disaster zones twice. During his last visit on Saturday, the president managed to get in a great quip about the media's portrayal of him the past week, and let's be honest, the past year. President Trump said right before leaving on a plane from Texas to Louisiana. I hear the Coast Guard saved. Almost 11,000 people by going into winds the media would not go into. They will not go into those winds unless it is a really good story, in which case they will. 
a perfect quote from a president that loves honoring our armed forces and putting the dishonest media in its place. Love our president. Share it past the lying mainstream media, patriots. H.T. Washington Examiner Watch now. More. Related. Breaking News 24 Red Alert Kim Jong-un just unveiled his secret nuclear weapon that is horrifying. Today Kim Jong-un of North Korea unveiled his new secret nuclear weapon that makes everything else they have made look like child's play. North Korea says they have developed a super-powerful hydrogen bomb and can easily make more. But the news gets even worse from Korea. The same report from the DPRK clearly shows Kim Jong unloading the new hydrogen bomb onto an intercontinental ballistic missile. While this may have been nothing more than showboating, this could be the promise of a test or even worse, a direct threat that the new nuke will be launched. KCNA The North Korean news agency, KCNA, put out their own report along with the images that said, Kim Jong-un said he felt the pride at the indomitable bolstering up of, North Korea's, nuclear forces despite a great price as he watched the Dutch-oriented thermonuclear weapon with super-explosive power made by our own efforts and technology. He expressed great satisfaction over the fact that our scientists can do anything without fail if the party is determined to do. The scientists further upgraded its technical performance at a higher ultramodern level on the basis of previous successes made in the first H-bomb test. So far there has been no proof of the bomb's power, but knowing North Korea they will show it off if they really can. Help share this everywhere so people know the West Coast is not safe right now.